Workers at the Fukushima nuclear power plant north of Tokyo on the Pacific Ocean coast have struggled to prevent the spread of radiation following damage incurred by that massive earthquake in March. Their efforts reflect the extensive emergency training they and other nuclear power workers worldwide are given. That includes the personnel at Iran's new Boucher nuclear power plant. The nuclear power industry will never forget what happened 25 years ago at their Chernobyl facility in Ukraine. There, an experiment with a cooling system, one not provided for in the training regimen, led to a reactor explosion and what became the world's worst nuclear power disaster. Especially after Chernobyl, the global nuclear power industry is focused on what it calls a culture of nuclear safety. At the Nuclear Energy Institute, a U.S. trade group, Tony Pietrangelo explains the concept. Safety culture exists on a continuum. You can always work to improve it. It's a questioning attitude, it's professionalism, and again, it's that profound respect for the technology you're dealing with. One pillar of that safety culture is thorough training for those who will operate nuclear power plants. Russia's state nuclear power entity, Rosatom, which completed the Boucher plant after years of delays, is now training the Iranian staff to run it. At the U.S. Brookhaven National Laboratory, senior scientist Upenda Rochi describes the training regimen. They are providing operator training in terms of classroom. Then also they have full scope simulators, which are same as Western standard, and then in-plant training. Like the aircraft simulators that pilots train on, nuclear power operators can learn how to cope with problems in sudden emergencies without making real-life mistakes that could cause fatalities and devastate the environment. Rosatom will remain on site for the immediate future, as it has done with other client nations such as China and India. And the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, of which Iran is a member state, will oversee the plant's operation. The IAEA sends teams of inspectors to nuclear power plants to ensure that best practices are being followed. Former IAEA Nuclear Installation Safety Director Philippe Jamey. They look at the training programs, how the operators are trained to cope with accidents on simulators and so on. And we also look at the, the qualification of people to perform maintenance uh, and also the preparation of the plant uh, for possible uh, emergencies. Iran's Atomic Energy Agency has repeatedly said that as an IAEA member, it will follow that UN agency's operational and safety protocols at the Boucher plant. But what the disaster at Japan's Fukushima plant makes clear is that the severity of natural events, such as a massive earthquake, can overwhelm even the highest levels of training and attention to safety. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.